Hey guys, it's Raimi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a natural and affordable back to school makeup look. If you guys are like me, then you probably woke up late and you have like 5 to 10 minutes to make yourself look like a human again. So I'm going to try to keep this as easy and minimal as possible. And if you want to see how to get a really fast natural makeup look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and I really like this because it's really good at smoothing everything out. I put it all over my face, <laughs> but um, I focus it on my smile lines and on my nose area because that's the area that needs the most smoothing for me. And then I just kind of put the rest on the rest of my face. If you don't have a primer, moisturizer works just as well, but I just like using a primer to make sure my skin is gonna look extra smooth. Now I'm just a little closer so we can do the brows. I'm gonna be using the NYX, I think it's the Micro Brow. Yeah, the Micro Brow, brow Pencil in Espresso. It looks like this. It's super good. The tip is very, very fine. So you can make really nice, natural hair-like strokes. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my brows. So I always start by brushing them up. Then I make a like a line under so I just make a line on top once I do that I just start filling in the tail with short strokes then I always make a slight line like right here to just bring everything together I always like to carve my brows out because I feel like it gives my face more definition and it makes my skin look clearer. I don't know why. It just makes my skin look so clear. I think it's because, I don't know, eyebrows make a big difference. So I just always carve them out, you know? I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Age Run Concealer in medium, just like I did for my brows, but I'm gonna use this to spot conceal my face. Putting foundation on for school every day is a lot of work, and most of the time I don't even wear makeup, so concealer is just, it's just easier, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna try not to put this all over my face, and I'm just gonna cover up any scars and redness. And I always put some on my nose. Just a little bit on my forehead so everything like matches. Sometimes it's really hard for me to do natural makeup because I just want to cover it all. I love how it looks when like you just have a full face of foundation on and everything. Like you can't even see your skin anymore. I don't know why. I just love that. But I'm trying to be natural because I know I did a poll on my Instagram and everybody was like, Oh, I wear natural or no makeup to school. And I was like... Okay, I need to like sit up. I keep slouching. That's bad. I don't I don't want scoliosis. Gosh. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> I broke my whole entire back. Oh, I almost forgot my under eyes. So for powder, I'm gonna go in with the RCMA No Color Powder, and I really love this one because flashback who uh, I don't know her. I <laughs> There's like literally this much left and I use it every single day. So she's worth it. I'm just gonna set my eyelid so we don't get that ugly crease. I like the trick with powder is when you put it on, you don't want to be able to see it, like the layer of powder that you put on. So that's how you know it's gonna be very flawless. You don't need to be able to see that whiteness because then it's gonna look really cakey and you're gonna get flashback. The rule I kind of go by is if you see your powder, you did too much. I'm not a makeup artist, but I just, you know, wear makeup a lot. If you do a lot of thin layers rather than thick layers, your makeup's going to look a lot more flawless. I said this in my last video, but I've been setting my under eyes with a brush lately because it doesn't give your under eyes that cakey look. So I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray, and mine always does this. Like, there's stuff in there. But it just like crushes itself. Like it's sitting, it's sitting on my counter and it just goes and I'm like, okay. Um, I'm not done with my face makeup, but I always set it after I set with translucent powder because it makes everything like blend in together and then all the powder products I use after end up looking really natural and pretty. So yeah. Well, I'm gonna highlight and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Primer. 
Precious Petals. This one is so bomb. My favorite ever. So I'm just gonna spray my... Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> my brow bone. I'm gonna do my inner corner because this is gonna make you look awake. I'm gonna go with this blush palette from City Color. So I always use this end one because it's the most like neutral pink. I just like to go on my cheeks just to give my face some color and on my nose, like the bridge of my nose, like this whole thing because I like this sunburnt y looking look. I don't know, it just looks so cute to me when there's blush just all throughout this area. My favorite from the drugstore is the Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? No, oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. They have like the just the telescopic, but the carbon black one is way better. It makes my lashes a hundred times longer. So this is the one with it and without it. I hope you guys can see the difference. But I really love this stuff, like wow. So I know it's not drugstore, but I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. There's just something about this one, like I couldn't find a drugstore dupe. I was looking for the Essence one to try, but the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm is just magical. You can't top it. video and I'm planning on vlogging my first day of college like waking up and all that so if you want to see that give this video a thumbs up and also give it a thumbs up just because like you like the video or like whatever you know don't forget to check out my last video there's a giveaway in it and I'd love for one of you guys to win it duh it's a giveaway I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next time bye